Hello everybody, welcome back to the AI video. In this one, we're in Premiere Pro, and I'm gonna show you how their new AI functionality can help you get rid of any background noise. No matter how bad it is, you could be in the middle of an alien invasion, and you're filming and you get all the noise, guys. I'm gonna show you how to get rid of it. Let me show you what I'm talking about, and then let me show you how to do it. Let's go ahead and look at the original audio. And yes, it's deliberately bad, so I can show you just how powerful this is. Here we go. Wow, holy smokes, I'm in a spaceship, look at me. It can't get much worse than that. That has white noise at the highest level. This is what it comes up with though. You're not gonna believe this, here we go. Wow, holy smokes, I'm in a spaceship, look at me. The background noise is completely gone. There are two ways to do this depending on how much background noise you want to get rid of. Let them show them to you. Here we go. All right, quick break here. This video is sponsored by Opus Clip AI, the all-in-one AI video editor that's moved way beyond basic clipping. Real talk, Opus Clip helped 10 million creators and businesses grow last year and it's only getting faster. All you need to do is drop your YouTube link, hit auto import, and Opus Clip generates on-brand social-ready shorts with Clip Anything and a smarter virality score. Next, tweak it in the AI editor, add a few animated captions, and punch it up with one-click AI B-roll. Minutes, not hours. It is a piece of cake. You need the perfect format? Portrait, square, 16-9, reframe anything, tracks your subject automatically, and then you can switch to manual control when you want exact precision. Creators are seeing real gains in watch time and views, and Opus Clip users cranked out 172 million clips in 2024 alone. That time back turns into growth. So ship everywhere, bulk schedule your month in minutes, and spin up thumbnails in one click, literally. Stay consistent without burning out. If you're serious about growth, switch to the tool creators use to scale. Try Opus Clip free, links in the description. Get one free week, and then 50% off for the next three months. It's wild, give it a try. All right, everybody, so let's go through this step by step. I'm gonna show you every step of the way here. So the first thing, of course, Open up Premiere Pro. Now, grab the footage that you want to work on. I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna go into my Finder, and then I've got this folder here, and it's called AI Audio. I've got Space Noisy, and then I've got Space City. So I've got two shots here that I could work on. Let's go ahead and quickly listen to, let's listen Noisy. Let's go Space City, see what this one sounds like. Pretty bad, as you can see here. So the next step here is once you've added in the uh, file into the project panel, drag and drop that into the timeline like I've done here. Now we've got ourselves a sequence. When I move it to the beginning, I'll just hit play for a quick second. Wow. You can clearly hear that this is horrible audio. Okay, now the next step, I'm gonna go up here to the top right and besides editing, you'll see this little box here that says workspace. Alternatively, you can go to window workspaces. Either way, go ahead, click on that workspace and then set it to audio. This is the one we want to work with. Now, Premiere Pro should detect in almost all cases that this is dialogue. So there's background noise and then there's me talking going, hey, I'm in a spaceship as you heard earlier. So the next step here is up here in the essential sound panel, go down here, make sure that dialogue is selected right here. If you do not see that, I'll just show you an example here. Click clear audio type. And then it'll say, hey, auto tag, let it choose for you, or you can just manually select dialogue. So make sure dialogue is selected there. Now, the next step, this is the important one here, is enhanced speech. Click on that here. You're going to see here that it's going to use the Creative Cloud servers. So this is not being done on your machine. I believe this is being done in the cloud. And then right there, it's very possible that this has fixed your audio, if you have very, you know, a small background noise or some small buzzing or hissing or something like that, this might fix it. So let me show you what I got here. Wow, I mean, smokes, I'm in a spaceship. Now you can hear it's much better. It's not perfect, but also keep in mind that I deliberately selected the worst possible clip to show you just how good this is. So if I turn this off, let's listen again. Wow, holy smokes. Turn it on. I'm in a spaceship. It's better, it's not perfect though. So if you want to keep going a little further, if your audio is still not where it needs to be, 
make sure that it's on. Now go into repair. This is where you can do some manual uh, adjustments. So in repair, watch this. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this little reduce noise. When you click on this little slider, you'll see here you can move it up or down. It's defaulted to 5.0. I'm gonna move it up to seven. Let's go to 7.5. Now let's go and listen to this. Wow, I mean, folks, I'm gonna finish it. Okay, that's not bad, but it sounds a little bit robotic, a little bit alien-like, but it got rid of the majority of the background noise. Now, keep in mind, again, that I selected the worst case scenario. So this might be all you need to do. Now, you can go ahead and adjust these as you see fit. I sometimes will adjust the dehum. I've got it up to 7.1 right now. Let's go to 7.5. Let's listen again. I'm going to finish it. Okay, not too bad. So this is the first method there is another method and it involves adobe podcast and if you are a creative cl cloud part of me subscriber you will also have access to this let me show you that now all right so the second way to do this is using the adobe podcast functionality now you need to be a creative cloud member for this here is the website and then it is right here enhanced speech when you click on that, let's just go ahead and do that, you'll get some options here. Now, this is what we're looking for. Now, listen to this version. This is unbelievable, but it just takes a few more seconds. Here we go. Wow, holy smokes, I'm in a spaceship. Look at me. Guys, this is if you have really, really bad audio. Now, all you need to do, let's go from start here, is just grab a file. I'm gonna go back into my finder. I'm gonna go into my documents. Let's go ahead and grab the uh, Noisy City one. Drag and drop that right here. You'll see here that it's uploading. It needs to process this. So this is done again using the Adobe Creative Cloud server. So this takes a few seconds. I'm gonna come back when it's done processing. Then I'll show you how to tweak the buttons. And this one is the one if you got a real problem. All right, I'll be back in a sec. All right, so let's take a look. Now this is the big way to do it if you've got really bad audio. Here we go. You'll see here there's a toggle switch. This is the enhanced version, and while I got you here, look at this. I've got speech enhanced to 90% and background to 10%. So if you want to completely eliminate background noise, you can drop this down to 0%. Let's listen to this, though. You're going to be pretty shocked. Look, wow, holy smokes, I'm in a spaceship. I'm in a spaceship, and there's just the slightest hissing. If you take this all the way down to 0 and then you let it reset, and again, this is done in the servers, so it might take a few seconds. There's a little lag here. Let's see what this sounds like. Look, wow, holy smokes, I'm in a spaceship. There's no background noise. We literally took the worst crackly sound you've ever heard almost and completely eliminated the noise and kept the voice. That's how you do it in Premiere Pro. Those are all the techniques. This is pure AI. It's incredible. Links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.